How y'all doing? Y'all getting ready for Thanksgiving? It is here. <laughs> it is. It is here. Without Shaq, obviously, you need guys to step up and put more pressure on the quarterback. And Joe, obviously, the spotlight's going to be on him. How do you respond? Um, Looks like he had a really good game in Germany. He just shut down the run. He had a sack. So, what was your impression of how he played? I thought I thought he stepped up when his number was called. You know, we've been kind of waiting for Joe to take that next step because he has all the tools, talent, speed, athleticism, power. So it was good to see him get off the stick pretty good. And the thing is, as you look at the tape, felt like he left a couple out there. So that was really good to see. Oh. Oh. Well, that's the thing. We've, you see them week in and week out, but the thing is Cleveland, you know when you get off the plane, they going to run the ball. That's how they built with their personnel and everything. They got a top flight running back, actually a top flight tandem at running back. So the thing is it'll be a good challenge, and they didn't do so well against Buffalo, so they'll be highly motivated to do well because they kind of understand how they win. When they run the ball, it opens everything up for them. So it'll be a big test for us. Well, that's the thing. I just kind of talked to him. I think, you know, we just went through the game. I think he had 16 snaps the other day. Now, that's the thing with him. We got to get him more involved. The thing about him, I think he's doing fine. But, you know, the thing is we just got to find his more of a role and create more one for him. The game, the way it played out, the, we were in so much nickel and they were so much run oriented and then having Akeem and Vita there. So we only had two. It's technically interior guys in there, but we just got to keep working to find the role for him because it's a guy really could help us. Anything else? When you, uh, when you look at Devin White and what he's been through, right? There's a player in the city, the young player who's called out maybe a bad game, bad day. Watch him fight back and then see what he's done with the personal situation, what he experienced with John McClain after that. What does it say? Right. First of all, my hat goes all to Devin. The thing you kind of mentioned as you look at Devin, since he walked in, you know, as we drafted him from day one, he wanted to be the signal caller. And that's a lot, you know, he wanted to be the signal caller. And just the stuff he embraces is 85, 90% of the time after Todd releases the team, he's the one that's talking to him. He's a. Uh, Everything, you know, uh, we could ask for in Devin. You know, he's trying flying around, and it's funny when we go through the grades. So we can we play 65 snaps. Devin plays 65 snaps, you know. And that's the thing. The guy never leaves the field for us. And the thing is, when he had some words said against him, the thing is, one, he knows how we feel about him in the building. And two, he knows what he means to the team. So my hat goes off, and the guy lays it on the line for us week in and week out without question. Thank you. Thank you. you guys have a happy Thanksgiving.